Okay, so I'm going to give you a sheet like this, and you need to make six K maps. That is uh, four for your encoded outputs, C3 down to C0, and two for your data in, which are also outputs. Those are outputs that are feeding back into your inputs of your flip-flops. So that's DA and DB. So you'll take those six expressions, and you'll make them into a circuit. So let's take a look a little bit at a completed circuit for what, what our completed circuit for our 4691 should look like. Uh, so you see here that I've highlighted uh, that is essentially C3. So we figured out that that was QA, QB not. We have QA here on the top and QB here on the bottom. Uh, we notice that these, these flip-flops are just they're synchronously hooked up to the same clock. That clock is just going to advance things when we get our data input. When our enable is pressed, it's going to move forward. That is all figured in into our, um, into our logic. So our logic is taking care of that for us ourselves. Um, you'll need to feed back in, so follow my mouse, our our circuits. So you see we have three different expressions feeding into um, DA and DB is a little bit simpler. It looks like really only one circuit but I bet you that you have a little bit more complex one than that XOR statement there yourself. Um, so it's not really that difficult but it is a long process to go through from state diagram to state transition table to K maps to circuits to finally to breadboard and on your, your CMOD. Um, it's, a, it's a big process. It, it is not that difficult, it's just a long process. I hope this helps.